going to be doing a hair tutorial for you guys. So I have in my clip-ins, these are my KRS hair group clip-ins. They are the nappy clip-ins. But I do have an initial video on this hair if you guys wanna check that out to figure out how to put them in. Um, like I said in that video, I always change up how I put in my hair. I never put it in the exact same way every single time. So um, I can't really like just be like, hey, this is a tutorial on how to put your hair in, you know, because I never do it the same way twice. This is just their glam set of clip-ins. I have them all clipped into my head right now. I have every single piece clipped into my head right now. So that's why it's so big and flumptuous, voluptuous, voluptuous. And I'm going to show you guys how I curl my hair. I always start from the bottom and I curl my way upwards. Now if you want really good tight curls, your ideal situation would be to curl the hair and then pin it. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. It depends on how long you want your curls to last. Honestly, I don't want super, super curly hair. I want wavy, more of a wavy curl. But if you're going for a super curled look, you would take a piece of hair and I'm gonna curl it away from my face, not towards my face, but away from my face. Cameron's gonna be mad because the whole house is about to smell like burnt hair now. Um, anytime I curl my hair, the whole house smells like burnt hair. And then once you're done with your curl, you're gonna pin it. So what you would do is you would take that curl, ball it up like this, and put a pin in it. That's if you want the curl to be super, super tight. I don't want my curls to be super tight, so I'm not gonna do that process today. I'm just gonna leave it. We're just gonna keep grabbing hair and curling it. The more defined you want the curls to be, the um, smaller pieces you're gonna grab. And then also what I've learned about curling is that the way that you wrap it around your curling wand really makes a difference in how your curl comes out, how your actual curl will form. Take the hair and you wrap it and twist it while you wrap it. It's gonna make like a more wave kind of curl, but if you want it to actually be like a real curl, if you just wrap it around flat, you get more of a like spiral curl, if that makes sense. Curling hair is an art, and I have yet to really like master that art. I kind of just do whatever and hope it turns out cute, and it does what it wants, um, because I just let it do what it wants. Now, if you're a professional or something, you got this down pat, but me, y'all, I'm not a hairstylist, like I've said a million times. I'm not a hairstylist, I just experiment, and I hope it turns out the way I want. So I'm just gonna grab it and shake it out, kind of get some of that heat out of it, let that cool off before you drop it, and that way the curl is more, you see how it's more defined when you do it like that? Now if you were to pin it, of course, it would last a whole lot longer than that's than how it's gonna last now, but like I said, I'm lazy, so. So I'm gonna continue curling my whole head, and I will give you guys an update once I get halfway done. Okay, so once you get to the top, what you're gonna do is you're gonna curl backwards. That way it's like curving away from you, you know? But it'll lay right when you comb it down. Hopefully, hopefully we'll see. I'm gonna curl it downwards towards my face so that my bang curves right. So we're done with this side. This is what it should look like once all of it is curled. So on this side, what I'm doing is curling away from my face the opposite direction. Okay, so now that I've got my whole head curled, and I've let the curls kind of sit a little bit. I'm going to brush this bad boy out. Any paddle brush will do. I usually just use a wig brush, whichever one I have next to me. And I'm gonna brush out the curls. 
ever so gently because I don't want to pull too hard because I do have clip-ins in so you don't want your clip-ins to like come sliding out or nothing kind of combing those curls together and pushing them back up into themselves you know kind of zhuzhing it and um, you can leave it like this if you want to I hate really uniform like you know like super perfect curls like I hate when people curl their hair and they don't brush it out or comb it out or anything they kind of just leave it that bothers me so much like girl no your curls don't need to be like super tight like that like I mean unless you just want it super tight but I hate curls that just look like they've been curled and they didn't do anything to it after that I love to have my curls look voluminous and big and fluffy you know kind of flatten my hair at the top a little bit if I didn't flat iron my hair, I just blow dried it so my clip-ins wouldn't slip out. Yeah, if you want a little bit more volume, all you have to do is take the hair. So I'm just going to brush upwards and tease it. Can y'all leave me alone? I'm trying to film. I'm just kind of brushing backwards on the length of the hair, the extensions. If you want a little bit more volume, you can use the comb to do the brushing back and it'll really give it some oomph you know what I mean that is all for this video I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you did give me a thumbs up and I'll be sure to do more hair videos for you all um, you know if you like hair clip in videos let me know but other than that I hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope that you hope you have a fabulous holiday um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video okay bye